This is a video of my selector valves and how they work. Selector valves are used to divert flow from one cylinder to another. To do that, you have an input line like this going in. When the selector valve is off, the hydraulic flow goes directly through the valve to the primary cylinder. When you turn the valve on, it diverts the flow from the primary cylinder to the secondary cylinder, leaving the primary cylinder where it's at. The selector valve is spring-loaded, so when you turn it off, it leaves the secondary cylinder where it's at, and it goes back to the primary cylinder. Hookup is really simple. There's several different switches you can use, on-off switches you can use, like this one here. I prefer using big toggles, big switches. This is an old style dimmer switch. It's big, and I can slap it, and I can also put it on the floor. If you hook it up, you need a positive, a fuse positive line coming from the battery to the input. On a switch like this, you'll have two prongs coming out. You only need to choose one. On switches like this, you only have one prong coming out. And you hook into that. Then you run the positive powered line to the selector valve. For, for purposes of today, I just use a wing nut. Most people use a spade in or something that can be tear away easy in case you hit a tree branch or something. That way you don't rip it out of here. The other line needs to be grounded to the frame somewhere. Doesn't matter which. As long as one's hot and one's ground, you're fine. You can't be wired backwards. Our selector valves also have an LED light to let you know if it's on or off. Now for a quick demonstration. Right now, the selector valve is off. I move the hydraulics. It moves the primary cylinder. Very simple setup. If something, the valve's not working, you're not getting ground or you're not getting hot. I recommend a fuse because if you accidentally rub the insulation off, you can superheat your line and catch things like this on fire, burn your machine down. Thank you for watching.